so I can tell if this is going to be hilarious or a disaster or both. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today I had this bright idea. I'm in desperate need of a good declutter throughout my entire makeup collection and what I really wanted to do before I went and decluttered especially my foundations was to retry the things I particularly didn't like. And in this case, I thought, why not just mix together all the foundations I really didn't like and see what happens. So I've got five foundations here, some in a couple of shades, and I'm just gonna mix them all together and see how it applies. Let's jump through all the foundations first before we actually start mixing them. I've got my little candle top palette thing that we're gonna mix everything on. It might be a little bit difficult because only two of these are actually liquid. The rest are either like a doe foot applicator or a stick foundation. The first foundation is the ColourPop Stick Foundation. Oh my god, I hated this. The two shades that I'm going to be using for this one are Light 55C and Light 50W. I believe I was able to get a close shade match by mixing both of these. But this was a horrible foundation. It clung everywhere. It looked like garbage. If you want to see my full review, I'll throw the video up in the cards. This next foundation got a video again all to itself. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation Stick. I also didn't like the concealer, um, but I'm not including the concealer in this video because quite honestly, I don't know if I'm going to make it to a full face. <laughs> we will see. The next foundation was one that I was actually really disappointed by because I love the concealer, but the foundation just was blah. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. I picked up two shades, um, F5 and F6. I believe these were supposed to correspond to the concealer shades because my concealer shades are C5 and C6. I'm assuming for concealer because they don't have different undertones for the C. It's just C for all the concealer and then F for the foundation, I'm assuming. While this was incredibly full coverage, it looked incredibly dry and cakey and just didn't work for me. I really think this is more geared towards oily, people who have oily skin. So, Nah, it didn't work for me, unfortunately. This one I'm gonna be a little bit easier on because I'm still kind of testing it out where I've not been able to get the other ones to work at all. This one I'm still trying to mix with other foundations to see if maybe I can get it to work. And that's the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Luminous Makeup. By itself, this looked really bad. Uh, I do have other foundations in my collection where I don't like them by themselves, but I love it when I mix it with another foundation. I've got a couple of pairs. I believe I did a video on that. If I can find it, I'll throw it up in the cards about like my favorite foundation cocktails. But this one, I still have not found a foundation that it works well with. So it's, it's gonna get mixed in with these. Last but not least, I have the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I feel like I could never use this as a foundation. I use way too much product just trying to get a full face. I feel like if anything, you could use this um, the same way you would use like the cover effects drops. And if they marketed it like that, like a dupe for that, <laughs> that would be awesome because this is a hell of a lot cheaper. But as a standalone foundation, it's kind of just garbage. All right, so before we start mixing, I'm going to prime. And I want to prime using some of my favorite primers that I've had locked away in my drawer, just so I can give this like a, a fighting chance. The first primer I'm going to use all over is the Pores No More Luminizer Primer from Dr. Brandt. I got this first in a BoxyCharm box. I think it was like one of my first BoxyCharms that I had and I loved it. I ended up panning the whole thing. I believe it was part of like my first project pan that I ever did. It does have kind of a strong scent, so if you're not into scents, this might not be for you. And while it does give me a really nice glow and it does blur a bit, I do want to go in just with another pore primer in my trouble areas just to, like I said, prime the best that I can and give this a fighting chance. So I did pan the entire first bottle that I got from BoxyCharm, and then when I went to cancel my BoxyCharm subscription, I realized I had a lot of points, and I didn't want to just, you know, lose the points. So with my last box, I actually picked another one up using my points. So that was actually pretty cool, because this is like a $38 primer. <laughs> just around my pore area, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I had been hoarding the last little bit left in here until I could buy more. Uh, thankfully, the rebate queen 
came through and I found out that the website had 12% cash back with Ebates and there was a sale going on and they had the poreless putty in stock. So I picked up a couple of things, but I also picked up two more of this primer. So now I'm not too afraid to use it. And I like keeping the little scoop that I got from the Tatcha primer in here because I don't like going in with my hands. Even though I apply it with my hands, I feel like I always get it under my nails or something when I don't go in with the scoop. Let's start mixing. I kind of want to start with the stick foundations and just like chop off a little bit. So let's start with the Milani. Don't think I can do this on camera, but I'll show you my palette. I'm basically going to go in with like my little depotting tool and just chop off a little bit from the top. Ooh, that's a lot of product. So you can see we got a little dollop right there. I think I got way too much. I'm gonna try and do a little bit less for the ColourPop ones, but they are also smaller, so let's see. Okay, so these are the three stick foundations. I'm gonna try and like mash this up first before I start adding the more liquidy ones. And there we go, that actually worked pretty well, though it does look a bit chunky. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution one. So what I think I'm gonna do, Ooh. can I just scoop this onto the palette? Oh, that actually worked. Okay. So if I just like swish it in here, I actually get enough on the top of the doe foot to just kind of like sploot right onto the palette. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Next, I'm going to do a couple of squirts from the Flower Beauty Foundation. And last but not least, I'm going to do a dropper from the NYX Foundation. I'm going to do this one last just so that it wouldn't like go all over the palette. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> right off the bat, it looks way too dark and I'm probably gonna have to throw in a bit of my white mixer, but let's mix this up and see what we get. So I believe we are all mixed. Now I'm gonna take just a little bit and let's check on the shade. That's not terribly off, surprisingly. So I just wanna add a little bit of the white mixer to that. Okay, so I added the white mixer in and it actually looks like it helped with the texture a bit. It doesn't look as chunky. All right, so I've got some brushes here. I think with something this thick, I'm gonna try and go with like a less dense brush. So let's use this wet and wild brush. And uh, let's see, am I just gonna paint this? Oh. Oh. Let's see where this takes us. Okay, so surprisingly, like on this part of my face, it's looking pretty decent, but it's already starting to look really bad around my nose. So I think I'm gonna finish the rest of my face with the brush and then smooth everything out with a sponge. Oh. And also, I'm trying to use less product, but it feels like I'm wearing a very heavy mask. <laughs> uh. Okay, so surprisingly enough, after smoothing this out with my $1 Shop Miss A sponge, it doesn't look terrible. I am already gonna say I can see that this is really gonna crease right along my smile lines and it looks a bit dry on my forehead so i was planning to basically just take this off and uh redo my makeup for the rest of the day but you know what let's go for it i'm gonna try and do the rest of my makeup and do a full day with this on i am working from home so it shouldn't be too d strenuous on this foundation cocktail but I'm curious now because I know none of these, the biggest issue with most of these is that it, they don't, they aren't long wearing. So I wonder how they'll all wear together. Okay, so I'll be back when I finish the rest of my makeup. Hey guys, so I just finished the rest of my makeup and I'm switching to my handheld tripod because I really want to zoom in and show you what we're working with. I'm still in front of like my quote unquote studio lighting. But you can see I'm already starting to get creasing 
around my smile lines it looks really dry around here i did end up setting everything below my eyebrows with powder i left my forehead alone because it looked incredibly dry already and i really didn't want to add to that so blush bronzer contour all looking okay i really do want to point out my concealer this is lipstick don't worry that's not blood <laughs> So I want to point out my concealer because I used the same exact concealer I've been using and powder I've been using for forever and loving. Uh, it's a combination of two that I really like and a powder I've been using and it looks horrible today. I think I did bring the foundation up too far to my eye and I think that's what's contributing to how badly it's creasing. Also, it's already rubbing off on the bridge of my nose. As you can see, the forehead actually doesn't look too bad. I am getting lines where my fine lines are, but I'll take that over how dry it looked before I set it with setting spray because I did set my whole face with both MAC Fix Plus and my Wet n Wild Rose Scented Setting Spray. So when you look at it from like this far, it looks fine. <laughs> it's only when you get in close that you start to see. So what I'm going to do is wear this for the rest of the day. I have to film two project pan like check-in kind of videos and then I work from home so thankfully no one's gonna see me except for through a laptop camera <laughs> and it's not the greatest camera ever so we're gonna be okay. I want to try and do a check-in in natural lighting because I don't know if you can tell we're actually getting oh this is my light right there but we're actually getting some sunshine today thankfully. So I'm gonna see if I can do a check-in in natural light after a couple of hours probably around lunchtime and we'll see how this cocktail where's hey guys so it's just after 12 o'clock and we're in natural light if you can't tell I don't get a lot of natural light in my attic <laughs> but we're right by the window so let's take a look at where we are got creasing got some creasing along the sides and this is looking absolutely tragic around my nose Ugh. I still have no idea like what happened there like the foundation just pieced out so I will say it doesn't look the worst <laughs> that I've seen but it's not great it's not doing great so I think I'm probably only gonna keep this on for another four hours or so before I give up <laughs> I work until four o'clock so I'll probably do my last check-in right around then Hi guys, so it is just at 4 o'clock and uh, this deteriorated quickly. We're in natural light again. We're in front of a different window in my room. We'll see how this one works, but uh, I can't remember the last time I looked this oily. Look around here. Whew. Oh my god. Honestly, like, I don't know what this foundation cocktail has against my nose. It just doesn't like my nose. Surprisingly enough, the forehead doesn't look too bad. <laughs> but this feels heavy, this feels gross on my face, but what did I expect? I combined a lot of foundations I hate. So overall, it's not as horrible as I thought it would be, but it's still bad. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.